PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's. Capitalise on this weakened bull inside, but they've still got to do the job. They've still got to actually go out and win the game. Long ball into the area. It's bouncing over Mossman, and it's in for Stacey Papadopoulos. Curling it high to a central position. Solid defensive header from Pollock to get it away. Only as far as Jess Howe, and it's two for Calder. Hoping that their defence can clear this one away. Vlanich hits it high to the near post. Meyer flicks it in. Three for Calder. Long high ball into the attacking half here for Calder. Dolzan backtracking. Shallow defensive header straight into the path of Cindy Lay, and that's the fourth. Fox Hill United opened the scoring against Bayside United thanks to this free kick from Christina Hall. A header in the second half from Mel Camilleri secured a 2 0 win. Southern United opened the scoring against Senior NTC through Safri Lyons. A quick fire double from Brittany Dudley Smith at the end of the first half gave Southern a comfortable 3 0 lead by the break. Lions rounded out the scoring early in the second half, Southern winning 4 0. Junior NTC moved one step closer to sealing the under 18s division, opening the scoring through Holly Furphy. It was 2 0 at half time, thanks to this long shot from Neve McClure. In the second half, Southern would peg a goal back through Miller Jowett. But NTC had the final say, Furphy completing a double in a 3-1 win. I'll look back to round 19 action and Geelong Galaxy United's 3-0 win against senior NTC. Galaxy took the lead from a scramble at a corner through Amelia Speranovic. The second goal came in equally scrappy circumstances, this time Sky Jensen with the final touch. This long shot from Brittany Elson finished the score. Now we'll look back to the Bayside United versus NTC match, which had been moved from round 13. Bayside United opened the scoring in the 17th minute through Emily Harps. It was 2-0 in the 22nd minute, Vanessa Hines doubling Bayside's advantage. NTC would peg back one late goal through Jessica Trainer. The full-time score, 2-1 to Bayside. Let's go to the results from round 20. Southern United overturned a 1-0 deficit to defeat Geelong Galaxy United 2-1. Geelong had taken the lead through Lulu al Hanedi before a double from Safri Lyons. Heidelberg United took a 1-0 lead through Lee Gray at the State Football Centre. Hannah Keane equalised for Alamein before a second half double from Melina Rares secured a 3-1 win. Now a look at the PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria women's ladder. Calder United's emphatic win on Saturday secures the Premier's plate for the top team. Alamein has the advantage on Boleyn heading into the final round in the pursuit of a double chance. Geelong Galaxy United is locked into fourth place and will play one of Alamein or Boleyn in the elimination final. At the foot of the league, Southern United's midweek win against NTC gives it a chance to avoid the competition's inaugural wooden spoon. For photo galleries and news, like the NPLW Victoria Facebook page. For fixtures, venues and kickoff times, go to nplvic.com.au.